to the classroom, Richard Curtis. One, two, bam! The big show today, Mira, Corinne. I'm telling you, those glasses scream winner right here today. Teachers, I bow to you and say welcome, my friends, my comrades. I love to see you guys here. And I love to see you here. Welcome into the show today, everybody. How about it? Look at these three here. It's the students against their teachers from George Washington School High School in Bustleton section of Philadelphia. Hey, they're officially in the classroom. I got them here today because it's going to be a battle of grades. Who's going to get the A? Well, we have 30 minutes to find out. Look, they, came, they showed up in droves. There was a bus outside. Philly walked in. What's up, everybody? <laughs> I love it. It's spirit at its finest. It's winner take all in the cash and bragging rights. Before we even meet our contestants, we're going to see who studied today. We're starting the show with a pop quiz. Grab your buzzers. We have one minute, 30 seconds on the clock. Each correct answer will be worth 10 points. If you buzz in first, wait until your name is called to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other team can buzz in and will have a chance to steal. Game time, and you guys are officially on the clock. Pop quiz starts right now. In the Brothers Grimm fairy tale, Little Red Riding Hood, who is the little girl walking through the woods going to visit? Here we go, Mr. Miley. Her grandmother. Grandmother is right. What part of France was the landing place of American troops on D-Day? Here we go, Miley Normandy. again. Normandy is right. You're back to back. Well done. Parrots, pelicans, and cuckoos are all types of what? Here we go, Mr. Marquillo. Birds. Birds is right. What is the alternative form of a gene? Mr. Gene. Miley. A gene. Incorrect. Corinne? Allele. Allele is right. Nicely done. You're on the board. Way to break the ice. Everyone's like, ooh, felt good. <laughs> In 2015, Drake was originally accused of not writing his own raps by what Philadelphia rapper? Mr. Miley. Meek Mill. Meek Mill is right. How many U.S. states border the Gulf of Mexico? Mr. Marquillo. Five. Five is right. Florida, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, and Texas. Up to 50 points, teachers. Nice job. In math, what type of variable is based on one or more other variables? Mr. Marquillo. Dependent. Dependent is right. What new NHL team was added to the league in the 2017 season? Marquillo again. Las Vegas Knights. Las Vegas Knights. We're going to take it. Uh, what is the name of the Viking who founded the first European settlement in Greenland? Mr. Lee, Miley. Lee Fountain. Oh. For the steel guys? We're looking for Eric the Red right there, and that's going to take us to the end of Pop Quiz. Whoa! Teachers, 70 points on the board. Students, you got one on there, got it out of zero into the 10 territory. We got money on the line today. $500 is what they're playing for. Corinne, welcome to the show. Good to see you, 12th grader. If you win this money, where are you going to put it? It's going to go to the Fit Philly Food Pantry. Oh, nice. So you get, re get uh, give, the, give the food away and we're really helping some people out there. Yeah. I love that. It's a great place to put it. Mr. Miley, wow. What a start for you. If you guys end up taking this money home, where are you guys going to put that cash? We're going to create a brand new teacher's lounge. Ooh, okay. I love that, man. Anything you want to absolutely, you know, put in there? Um, a television. Yeah, okay, <laughs> 500 bucks, go a long way, man. Good luck, everybody. Look, I think it's time we're gonna send somebody into detention. Let's go. <laughs> All right, guys, put your buzzers down. You're gonna work together on this one. Here's how detention rolls. I'm gonna give the Cherling team a category. As a team, you'll have 10 seconds to decide whether you wanna play or pass. You choose to play, you answer the question correctly, you can send any member of the other side into detention. But if you get it wrong, they can send one of you. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question. Same exact elimination rules apply. You get everyone into detention. 40 points is on the board. Students, you guys can get right up to 50 points here and cut this lead pretty, pretty well. So you guys ready to do this? First category, pass or play here, English. How do you feel? Pass. We're going to play. Here we go. What is the term for a word, phrase, or sequence that reads the same backwards as forward? Example, madam. Um, Need an answer? Is it a palindrome? Mm. 
syndrome? Absolutely. <laughs> hey. All right, now look. I don't know if you can see this, but Mira just came out of yes. nowhere with that answer. <laughs> just, just say that. <laughs> Nailed it. Well done, see. guys. How about it? By the skin of your teeth. Now you get to send one of your teachers to Miley. detention. Miley, Marquio, Shanahan. Miley. Who's going? Miley. Mr. Miley. Mr. Miley. Miley. There we go. Get the tallest guy out first. You go around that way. Good to see him. Just so everyone knows, he's about a seven footer, I'd say. He's six eight. Center in basketball. The next six are right there. All right, jump into detention. You stay right there. And teachers. How do you guys feel about statistics? Pass. Pass. Two English teachers. <laughs> Gonna be the smart teacher. All right, guys. In statistics, what measure of central tendency is the average number found by adding all the data points and dividing by the number of data points? Mean. Mean. Are you sure? Yes. Is it the mean? The mean is right. Nice answer. I love this team over here. You guys are making me no, so Marky, happy. Marky, Just Marky, say, Marky. say the mean. All right, so guys, get to defense another teacher. Who's it going to be? Marquio. Marquio down there. Mrs. Shanahan, hold it down over here. Okay. Our two handsome gentlemen out of the game. Mrs. Shanahan, you're going to stay right there. But the category goes back to you guys. This is for the win and the sweep of the round. How do you guys feel about famous athletes? Do you love it? If you don't love it, do you give it to Mrs. Shannon? Pass. Okay. How do you feel about famous athletes? Stop. I don't care because you're going to get it anyway. <laughs> what former Phillies pitcher went by the nickname Doc? Doc. I don't know. What a pass. We're looking for Roy Halladay. Ladies, beautiful pass. I can't wait to do this. Mrs. Shanahan, you're going to the detention. It's a sweep. Get the brooms out, people, because the ladies are on the path to winning this thing. 50 points you guys are up to now to the teacher 70. What a round. Now, when we come back, we're going to see how well their art skills come back to help them here. What a round for you. Perfect. show today. It's the students and teachers from George Washington High School in the Bustleton section of Philadelphia, home of the Eagles. Yo, I heard you guys uh, screaming something all show here from the front row. What is it? The goat. The goat. I, is that a teacher? Yeah. All, right, all right, we got to meet this guy. Come on, who are they? Hi, my name is Corinne Pettis. I run track at George Washington High School, and I've been to Junior Olympics. Hi, my name is Mira Patel, and I'm a senior at the International Baccalaureate Program, and I'm the president of National Honor Society. Hi, my name is Myra, and I'm also a senior at the International Baccalaureate Program, and I'm the historian of the National Honor Society. I'm Mr. Miley. I'm here today uh, with my lovely wife, Melissa, and my daughter, uh, Aubrey and Julia, and I am a history teacher. Hi, I'm Monica, and I teach ninth grade English this year, and I'm excited to teach them, and I'm really excited to be here. Hello, I'm Mr. Marchio. I teach 11th grade IB English. Here I'm known as Mr. Marchio, but in the hallways, I'm the GOAT. How about Marchio? He is the GOAT. Now look, we're off to a great start of the show. It's neck and neck, and you guys know what time it is. Get the paint ready. We're going to art class. Here's how the game will work. Each team selected one player to draw. The trailing team's going to go first. I'm with Corinne now. The goat will be going second. They're going to select a card with a word or phrase hidden on the inside. They'll have five seconds to draw. Then their teammates will have ten seconds to talk about it. Make one guess. Correct answer, 30 points gets awarded to their score. If the team guesses incorrectly, I'll give them a couple more chances. But your point values will decrease every round you go. But here we go, Corinne. I got a blue one and I got a red one. Which card are we taking? Blue. All right, you take that. Stand behind the board here for him. You can open it up. Ladies, do you believe in your partner here? Yes. That she's yes. going to get this done round one? Yes. Corinne, they said yes. You ready to do this? You only have five seconds to draw. Uncap on my call. Three, two, one, and draw. Nice. Good speed so far. I like the idea. Stop. There it is. Okay. Ten seconds, guys. One guess. You can talk about it. Good luck. 
What's your draw? That looks like a new bell. Deep in thought here. Okay, what are we thinking? Thank you. Need a guess? Uh, school hallway with the bell ringing? School oh. hallway, incorrect. We're going to put... <laughs> they're, they're not even close right now. That's so okay. We're going to put five more seconds up because that seems like a lot of time. And uh, give you another shot. You ready? Three, two, one, go. Okay, she's going another... Ooh, I like the idea here. She's under three. She probably drew it in three seconds, but I like what she's thinking. You can use both pictures now to your advantage. Good luck. Um, a t-shirt. School. Okay, we're going to school. School uniform. Okay. Answer. School uniform? Uh, school, <laughs> school uniform is incorrect. You're going to have 10 seconds to finish this round, and this is going to be 10 points. Are you ready to go? Yes. I love it. Here you go. Three, two, one, after you. Mira, you feeling good right now? 10 seconds, a lot of time on the board for her to get another drawing up here. And I like what she's doing again. Okay. This could help. This could help. You guys take your time. 10 seconds. One more guess. This is for 10 points. Can you do it? Oh, it's a person slipping on a t-shirt. Does a t-shirt? I think every person at home right now is squinting at their television. What do you think the answer is? Sleep. Corinne, they were close. They finally caught on. <laughs> we were looking for the pajamas right there. The pajamas. Give her a big round of applause for that drawing. That was a tough one right there. We're going to turn this around. We're going to switch contestants. No points awarded. No points awarded. You're going to go grab a seat, and we're going to get our teacher up here. Now, look, she drew the blue card. You get the red, Mr. Marquillo. Go ahead and open it up. Mr. Mealy, Mr. Shanahan, you guys ready to do this? Yep. Okay. Mr. Miley, you stay right there. Mr. Marquillo, five seconds. Uncap. Oh, let's see what you do here in five seconds. Let's get it done. Three, two, one, go. Good start and done. Good luck, guys. Ten seconds. Come up with one guess. What are we looking at? Sunrise. Sunrise. Incorrect. We're going to give you round two here. Wow, this is tough. Five seconds up. Here you go. Wow. Love what your idea is here. Again, another tough one. Let's see how you do. <laughs> I mean, when you, if you look at it, there's a lake. A lake. Okay. We're going to give you one more try here. Round three, ten points. Can they do it? Good luck. Okay, we're going third drawing here, guys. Third drawing. And he smiles when he draws, which is a nice change. All right, here we go. You ready? Yeah. Last guess, guys. Good luck. What are we looking at? Is it a buoy? No. Uh, a buoy? A buoy? Incorrect. Mr. Marquillo, what was it? Sprinkler. A sprinkler uh, in each one. And now we're all like, oh, man. Oh, that was a fantastic drawing, guys. Now, before we go to break, I have some more points on the line for some people to win. Let's get some extra credit going here. All right, I'm going to ask one extra credit question. Both teams have one minute during the commercial break to write down their answer. It's worth 10 points if they get it right. Here it is, guys. A gr uh, Excuse me. TI-84 is a graphing variety of what handheld electronic device used to help solve equation? There's your extra credit. Do you know the answer we're going to have for it when we come back? in studio here today. Welcome back into the show. Students and teachers from George Washington High School in Bustleton section of Philly. Before the break, I asked both teams this extra credit question. TI-84 is a graphing variety of what handheld electronic device used to help solve equations? Corinne, what'd you say? We said calculator. And Mr. Miley, what did you say? We also have calculator. Well, that's going to get 10 points aside. Good job, guys. Good work. Hey, 
I'm telling you, this music to my ears when both people get it right, and it's possibly where we're headed next. All right, guys, grab your buzzers. Today's music class is testing your knowledge of song lyrics. I'm going to ask a question related to a popular song, and then Mike Jarek from Fox 29's Good Day Philadelphia will read a small portion of the lyrics. The first person to buzz in and correctly answer my question will win 10 points for their team, but be very careful, because if you jump the gun and get it incorrect, your team's locked out while the other side can still jump in and steal. We have three sets of lyrics today. Here's question number one. What former American Idol winner sings these lyrics in a 2013 Billboard hit song? Mike Jarek, welcome to the show, sir. All right, on this first one, I might get a little emotional, all right? Uh, like a drum, my heart never stops beating for you. And long after you're gone, 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 I'll love you long after you're gone, gone, oh, oh, gone. Mr. Miley. Kelly Clarkson. Uh, Incorrect. Students for the steal. Want to take a guess? If you don't know, it's a free one. Buzzing if you don't know. Sorry, guys. Philip Phillips, because I'm gone, gone, gone. Question two, let's move right along. What band sings these lyrics in a 2019 song? Pretty recent. Good luck, everybody. All right, this one sounds like my life. Maybe a hundred bad days made a hundred good stories. A hundred good stories make me interesting at parties. Myra. Um, Ed Sheeran. Incorrect. Teachers for the steal. The goat says, no way. We're looking for AJR 100 Bad Days. That's a jam as well. Let's get to this final question, see if we can grab somebody with some points here, guys. What performer sings these lyrics in a 2017 Grammy-nominated song? Good luck. Here we go. Okay, your last one. Hold up. They don't love you like I love you. Slow down. They don't love you like I love you. So we're not big music people in this girl. We're looking for the queen right there. That's Beyonce in Hold Up. No points at all, but that is okay. We heard Mike Jarek. He was rapping and I loved it. So thank you, Mike, for being on the show. But that wraps up music class. Teachers, 80 points for you guys. Students, 60 points for you. Everyone still has a chance to win this thing. It's neck and neck going into the final exam. Topic is breathe in, breathe out. I'll ask three questions related to that final exam topic. Each correct answer is going to be worth 100 points. I mean, you guys are so close. Every single question matters here for you. You're going to put down your pens before we even start writing our answers during the commercial break. Let's hear these questions. Question one, final exam. What component of human blood contains hemoglobin and transports oxygen throughout the body? There's one, here's two. Two Ghosts and Kiwi are songs by what performer who has been seen on stage using an inhaler? Last question, breathe in, breathe out. What is the name for the special organ that fish use to breathe underwater? There are your questions. Each team has 60 seconds to talk about it, come up with their answers. When we come back from break, they're going to get to figure out who's going to ace this final exam. Is it teachers? Is it students? We find out on the classroom next. But before you go, I am giving you your invitation, and it's right here. You want to be a part of this show? Here's how you can do it. Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. Welcome back, everybody. Today we have the students and teachers from George Washington High School. They're going head to head. The scores, teachers 80 points, and the students are right on their heels with 60. We're heading into the final exam where we learned the topic today is <sighs> breathe in and breathe out. Before we went to break, I asked both teams three questions. Each correct answer, 100 points gets added to their score. A ton on the line. Goats, you ready for this? Sure am. Look, you're the goat of the school for a reason. Why do they call you the goat? Best looking, smartest, funniest, <laughs> laundry list. And of can me. he do it here? 
Can the goat get it done? This dude's like, nah, no, we got this. All right, well, let's do it. What component, ah, what component of human blood contains hemoglobin and transports oxygen throughout the body? Myra. Arteries. We're looking, <laughs> nope, hold on for there first. Let's see if the teachers have it, Mr. Marquio. Red blood cells. That's what we were looking for, the red blood cells. They take the 180 to 60 lead, and we move in to question two. Two ghosts and Kiwi are songs by what performer who has been seen on stage using an inhaler? Mrs. Shanahan, if you get this right, it doesn't matter what the students say, you guys win the 500. What did you say? We said Lil Wayne. Uh, Hasn't been relevant a little bit, Lil Wayne. <laughs> uh, but not him, no? Mira, this is your chance to win this thing. You gotta keep the oh. game alive. If you get this wrong, teachers win the game. That's a lot of pressure. Mira, you said. We said Billy Eilish. Incorrect teachers win it. Harry Styles was the guy there. And how about it? Come on out here and get your money. What is the name for the special organ that fish use to breathe underwater? You guys do that one. That's the branchia or it's the gill. We want to thank you guys for being here today. How about this check? $500. Teachers are getting a new teacher's lounge. Miley's loving this. We'll see you guys next time.